looks okay. Uh, I'm joining an ongoing match. No way, no way. located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. Yeah, let me turn that down. Uh, this isn't me currently, because I can't really tell what's on screen. Uh, what you guys are seeing uh, from my camera, which is my phone. So yeah, so I guess just enjoy this gameplay from my teammates. Go for the bomb, bro. Go for the diffuser, man. Fuse. You're not gonna do it if you can't. Don't go for the bomb, bro. Okay. There's the bomb. It's over by a. Oh. Right there, man. probably be explaining what's going on okay so there's a uh, spawn locations this is kind of uh, there's spawn locations everyone chose control tower I guess that's that then there's operators uh, you get like these first ones up to Habana I think maybe not actually I think up to Blackbeard and the rest you kind of get or whatever then after that there's loadout which is your guns and stuff See, these are all the guns that my team has chosen and their equipment and their special abilities. And so now we're ready. Now we're loading into the game. So these are all the players. This is the preparation phase. The attackers, the ones with the ones who have the two swords crossed. Uh, what we do in this round is either you can switch operators or your loadout or whatever. And when, if you're good with that, then you use your drone to find the enemy's find location. Of course, this might change on the thing. So right now we're playing bomb. So you so we look for their bombs. There's two locations. Uh, they change every single round. So. One round it may be up here, uh, next round it could be somewhere else. A little lag there, but it's fine. So the defenders, they have their cameras placed around, so like over there. Uh, just took that out. Each uh, operator has a special gadget besides recruit because recruit is just a kind of a default, thing, I guess. Oh, oh. wow. 
wow. Always gotta always check your corners. Always check your corners. So, yeah. Right, let's switch this. Up. Let's try this again. Uh, if they win this round, if the enemy team wins this round, we go to defending. But if we win this round, it's done. Uh, also on bomb, there's a diffuser, which is the little yellow briefcase thing. Uh, there's a few ways you can win in this game mode uh, most game modes it's just you can always win by killing the other teammate uh, but I'm, I mean killing the other team don't kill your teammates or else you'll have a bad time um, or like if it's bomb or secure either you secure uh, a specific location where they're like kind of thingies at in bomb you either plant a diffuser at one of the two bomb sites or if you're playing hostage, uh, you uh, you can sorry, let me repeat. You can save the hostage and take it to the extraction point. You can win like that. And I think in every other game mode, you can uh, in every single game mode, you can just win by killing the enemy the enemy team. But yeah. I kind of have to. Yeah, these, these aren't my, uh, this isn't my best, uh, gaming, but I, I, I'm better, sorta. Of course, always, uh, of course, always, communication is very good, so... I recommend using your headset, or maybe like, if you like your, or text them really fast if you if they don't have a mic or something, like on a third party device, because you don't want to text, you don't want to use the Xbox messaging feature unless you have like the Xbox app. And so we won the round, and so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't do good, like, at all. Excuse me. This is, like, leveling up and stuff. You get renown or whatever. Renown is, like, an in-game currency. Uh, this is more leveling up for the battle pass. Packs, this is just a roll thing. Alright.
so here there are some game modes ranked, unranked, quick match, death match, close quarters. That's kind of a limited time thing. Uh, this, these are like other things. So if you want to play with friends on like a little map, this learn. Uh, you can play shooting range situations, tutorials, training grounds. Uh, yeah, there's that. I think that's Terrorist Hunt, but I think they got rid of Terrorist Hunt because people didn't really like playing it. Battle Pass, Packs, Boosters, Challenges, Ubisoft Connect, News. This is Operators, there's Attacks, there's Attackers and Defenders. Uh, that's the new Operator Sends, I think. Well, it is, but just I don't know if she's the newest. Uh, there's... 32 attackers, 32 defenders, duh. So they try and keep it even with like uh, two operators per thing, so yeah. Each one has a special ability uh, that does something, so alibi, she throws up uh, her holograms or, well, it's a little complicated, but basically there's just like, like, uh, projected uh, versions of herself which you can use to trick the enemy into shooting or touching it and if they touch it or shoot it in any in any way their location is revealed uh, this character she has like little th she can throw up barriers like by throwing a kunai or throwing knife at it uh, Vihil or Vigil uh, he has like a you can't see him on cameras but I don't really like his thing because he's kind of useless. Ella has a concussion mine. Uh, Lesion has a has like a little spike trap that he puts on the floor, and it put if you touch it, you get poisoned, and you have to pull it out, or else the poison will keep increasing and eventually kill you. Echo has a drone that can concuss you. Caviera she just has a sneaky ability which knocks people out and she can interrogate them. Uh, Goyo has Vulcan Canister and so on and so forth. You can look at them yourself. And there's... Uh, this is new. The watch. Basically just see how you did, I guess. Uh, shop. This is where you can get cosmetics and stuff. And... I'm sure there's more that I didn't cover, but that is the basics. I guess, I don't know, probably not. Oh yeah, there's also like seasonal events, so like there's Halloween stuff, Chris, uh, there's Halloween stuff, winter holiday stuff, and like f other stuff, and just a bunch of little promotions like, like every month, I guess, just to keep the game fresh.